arch right there. Maybe even shorter than that, I don't know. But oh my gosh. Throws him into the ropes. Into the outside. <coughs> Jeff is now calling himself the man here. Will and Jeff, I think, are a little too confident in wanting to win their JWF Tag Team title shot. Um, I don't know. I don't know if either oh, Jeff or Will to defeat Kane or The Undertaker. That would be an impressive feat by itself, but oh, what a punch right there. And with that, wait a minute. Goes in for a headlock. Blocks something. Oh, wait a minute. Tommy Dreamer blocks something else again. Look out, Tommy Dreamer is being picked up. And I hope he doesn't hit that neck. I hope he doesn't hit that uh, neck breaking bottom on the outside. Wait a minute. What's he going for here? Oh, no! Power bomb! Good God, what a power bomb! Good God, what a power bomb that was! Well, look at the elbow, look at this! He's stretching out! The back of shoulders of Tommy Dreamer, and oh! See, I moved it really hard, wait a minute, no, no, no! Oh, face first, right into the guardrail! Sabu! <laughs> Good guy, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Alright, it is all raw and powerful. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen some great matches already tonight, this morning, this afternoon, whatever you're watching, ladies and gentlemen. JWF Thursdays. And wait a minute. Oh, oh his spirit is on partner! Oh my god, his spirit is on partner. I, I'm going to believe that was intentional. Good guy, ladies and gentlemen, as I was about to say, if you do not like, like me, the product TNA is out with now, then just skip TNA and just watch JWF on Thursdays. It gave you on Thursdays, you don't have to watch on Thursdays, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, whatever. This one you can watch the JWF. And the next freaking bomb, brother, two, and no. Just letting it out there for everyone to know that the JWF's out there for your alternative each and every week to TNA. And ladies and gentlemen, under any wrestling organization, but we come out on Thursdays, that's why I say DNA. I know it's a SmackDown, SmackDown is coming out on Thursdays, but not for some of Well, it has for a long time, but still. It's a, yeah, but well, whatever. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, look out. Takedown right there. He's got him. He's got him. He's going up. Oh, that freaking bomb. The net breaking hop, number one, two, two three. three, got it! Will and Jeff the Gangsters are the number one contender for the JWF Tag Team Championship. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, what a match that was. I don't foresee these two winning the match though, but they got really good momentum going into final sentence to face Undertaker in game four, the JWF Tag Team Championship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the number one contender for the United States Championship, the Raven at Shadow versus Matt Hardy. The winner of this match will face MVP for the United States Championship. Listen to that new theme. I mean, he had a different kind of theme before, but listen to this. It is called Cross Crown Knockout, and it's from freemusicplay.com. Freemusicplaymusic.com. And ladies and gentlemen, look at this man come down to our ring. This man was dominated in. The JWF tournament, he won two matches. The FST, the final sentence tournament. You know, ladies and gentlemen, that's the first time we've ever really done a tournament. And this man debuted in the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, explosion there, the flames. And here comes Matt Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Matt Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, wants to see if he can face MVP. In the WWE, Matt Hardy and MVP had a lot of big battles to 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it wouldn't be a surprise to see those two go at it and have a really good match. But the way they share I think, can become a very good match of Red Bull TV. So I think Red Bull TV's had his work out on fun. Especially since he can't really even hold on to his United States title long enough to even have a few. You know? I mean, he just can't, he just got a back from the great Ali, who was also, I think, injured. A lot of fucking injuries happened and everything or nothing. Good God! People who left with, had everything, mostly left with nothing. You know, I mean, Soko, Steve Austin, and Triple H are still okay. And a lot of other last ones are still okay. But I mean, I mean, look at this. I mean, The Rock and Sock and I keep him with everything. The Rock, not only left with nothing, but he left injured. The great Holly came in with the United States title, left with nothing. Um, Edge came in with the World Heavyweight title, left with nothing, and destroyed and injured as well. So, I mean, it, everything or nothing was really put on a big, huge pedestal, ladies and gentlemen. But, see, that's how the Rage on the Wave in the Shadow, look at that the Mahali, that's how he is. He waits for the person to attack him. He just stands there. Look at the opponent, oh, he's staring right into them. And we're all right, Shades of the Undertaker. From what we know from the Raven Shadow, he is. Excuse me. He is. Ladies and gentlemen, an Undertaker fan. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one huge matchup. This, we are tonight, Thursday. This morning, this afternoon, on Thursday, whenever you're watching, if you're watching in the morning. Wherever you are around the world, thank you for watching the JWF. I'm sorry if you don't speak English, but to all our English-speaking viewers, hola. Um, anyway, whoa, look at that clothesline. And picks him up, and wait a minute, is he hitting, he's going for the Nevermore. He's going for the Nevermore. Oh, yes, the Nevermore. But I don't think that'll be in, I don't, I don't think that Hardy's going to beat down. Oh, good enough. But I'm not, not really sure. It could be wrong. One, one, one two. two. No, and I kicked out. I was right. That Hardy wasn't beating down good enough. That Hardy wasn't beating down quite as good as he can be. I mean, I've seen people who have pedigrees and stunners because, you know, they haven't been beaten down enough to be 10 by 1. Or two of them, well, usually two or three will do it, but you know. And wait a minute! Oh, God, I want a back flavor! But this man, this man is very, very dominating. He's got this presence about him. This man could, in fact, be the next United States Champion. If he can beat Matt Hardy, and if he can beat MVP. Two of, I think, the best wrestlers we have here on, um, on the roster. Not saying anything else bad about anyone else on the roster. I'm just saying two of the best that I think are on the roster. And we're gonna oh, where they boot. Hold him around. And he's got him on the skull. Who what a DDT right there. Picks him up. Goes in for a suplex, it looks like. Oh, and a takedown. Gonna go up. Oh, take down right there by Ma on the Matt Hardy, ladies and gentlemen. He's got him up. Well, he sho shoves him right away. And oh, take down. Raising the shell off like he was all looking at him and the referee having a bit of a confrontation. He goes in for a big boot. No, this is goes in for another punch. I, I don't know what the heck is he doing, but I guess he went in the wrong direction. The hair might be getting in the way of his vision, but oh no! No! Oh, what impact! I'm a nevermore. Cover one, two, three. 